Welcome back, my friends. I recorded two episodes that OBS uh, screwed up completely. Uh, OBS is my recording software. Uh, so uh, you unfortunately won't be able to see what happened in those episodes, except that I will, of course, show you what I did. So first of all, up here, this coal uh, plant really didn't want to deliver any coal to the truck stop I had here. It all went here no matter what. So I deleted that and instead I put a truck stop down here at this coal mine. And it is producing and we are getting uh, quite a lot of coal here. So all good. And it's all going up here, of course, being turned into steel. And we are actually getting more uh, coal now. So um, so that is all good. I did have a problem with the uh, truck stop here that uh, trucks were getting backed up. So I changed from the uh, vanilla stop to this one and that helped. Unfortunately, I can't remove these uh, traffic lights. They just have to be there, uh, which is a little bit annoying. So that's one thing I did. Also, if we take a look at some of our ships, I upgraded these guys to um, to our new ship, uh, which is a uh, Votrans towboat. Uh, and it has more capacity and a little bit more speed than the old uh, Dunar castle. Uh, so... That is all good. We actually have a bit too much capacity on this line now. I think 844, it's it's about right. It's about right. So we are getting a lot more goods uh, transported. Also, of course, because we are transporting more steel down here uh, so that we can actually produce the goods. And we are actually chewing into our a plastic stockpile a little bit which i don't mind at all it's a big stockpile not as big as our steel stockpile up here but it's still a big stockpile right so then the next thing i did was i deleted a passenger train from our amsterdam to prague express which was called amsterdam berlin because i hadn't updated the name but i deleted a train from there because it wasn't making money uh, and uh, that seemed fine but then I also extended the line so before we came into Prague on these two tracks we're now coming into these two tracks and there's a reason for that which you'll find out uh, so uh, from Prague we now continue down to Vienna and we're actually getting quite a lot of passengers waiting here also because we only have two trains on the line uh, because this is the Amsterdam Prague line that we have extended and from Vienna and ooh, uh, in Vienna uh, we have an underground passenger station which works and I figured out why it didn't work before and we will be building another one so you can see what I was doing wrong basically there was a button I had to click that I didn't click to make it all work uh, so yeah so we have this going and we continue down to Belgrade where we have an elevated station where a building decided to shoot up right in the middle of it so that's something that I'll have to do something about that's the one thing I hate about the elevated stations is that buildings just shoot up in the middle of them and there's really nothing you can do about it other than put a fence in or something and then no one's living there, which makes the downtown area look a bit bland or a bit empty. So yeah, uh, we put in uh, this and it is working. It's all good. Then we continue on from Belgrade way down to Athens, where we have a stop and uh, it's coming in here and uh, we are running this weird bus on it 
Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to click the bus and look at it. Because this uh, is a trolley bus, which takes electricity and has those things on top of it. But it doesn't actually need uh, electricity for it. So, a bit weird that it has the big electricity things for, uh, for a tram on top. Uh, but it is what it is. So, that's that. Then in uh, Belgrade, we're running trams, and they're actually pretty cool looking. Uh, if we take a look at one of them, if I can find them. Where are the trams here? Hello? Where are the trams? Are they? There's one there. So let's take a quick look at that. This is the tram. And it's pretty empty. There's one passenger back there, it looks like. Nope, that's a woman crossing the street. So nope, no passengers. Uh, but it's fine. Uh, there will be passengers. Uh, we do have a passenger waiting here. We have it go, going, go, going both ways around. And all is fine. So, and then in... Uh, Vienna we have buses as well and in Vienna we are using the uh, Angry Bottom buses uh, Sauer Tusha and uh, yeah uh, that is working out pretty well and we have quite a lot of passengers waiting everywhere so in Vienna 3835 um belgrade 2561 uh down here we actually have a train that just left down here i think oh, well we have 77 passengers waiting don't we have a train no we don't have a train down here they're both up here but uh, these are starting to get a few more passengers so that is really good news So we might need to put an extra train on there. We only have two right now, and there, there's a, 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 a what? What's it called? What's it called? Where is the train? There. There is a frequency of 15, 14 minutes. So yeah, uh, we might need an extra train on that. Okay, did I do anything else? I don't think so. No, I didn't do anything else. Yeah, that was it. That was it. Uh, now, I do want to make a train line called Bordeaux, Paris, Frankfurt, Prague, Warsaw. But that's going to come later. That's going to come later. Uh right now i kind of want to take a look down here and see if we can get athens uh, or belgrade to get some uh, some goods they both want construction materials now we do have right here we have cornea coretica quarry cornea coretica quarry up to Belgrade bricks and we can deliver bricks into Belgrade so that is something that we could do just to try and get people to come down this way a bit and I think that's what we're gonna do and that'll just be a little a little uh, road vehicle line so if we, now in the long run, it, it will be a big one because we want to pick up these bricks and bring them down to Athens as well, bring them over to Tirana maybe, to Sofia. But for now, a little road vehicle line could do the trick 
So... Let's get something going. Uh, we want one terminal. We want... Let's put a wall in here. Let's actually put it over here on this street. Now, I don't think I can... Can I upgrade this? I can, actually. Nice! Alright, good. Before, when I tried to do that, it said... What did I upgrade it to, though? Oh, I upgraded it to the small country road. So, see, if I try to do this, it's too much slope. So it doesn't like that. And you can kind of understand, because look at this road. That is some... Really, really steep slopes and some... Uh, what What's it called? Hairpin turns, I guess? Look at it. Meow. Anyone riding in buses or whatever on these roads would be both sick and scared for their lives. All right. So let's put, let's put you in here. Um, let me maybe do it something like this. I think I like this. Like that. And then we need two terminals up here. Actually, we're just going to need two terminals, I think. just too much slope there let's try and turn it this way around now there's a collision of course there is now there's too much slope on that side all right i guess that means that we want to smooth this out a bit and give it a shot again Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's much better. All right, so you... Come in there, where there's not too much slope. Only almost too much slope. And then... We'll just make a drop-off here. And the bricks are all over in this area. So, uh, let's make it this one. And we'll put you in here. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And before the game does something weird, let's connect you up here. Hey. So that is a little brick line. Uh, let's uh, let time pass a bit. Just slowly. Alrighty. So, new line. From there. To there. And this will be... Uh, Tirana... Uh, stone... To... Belgrade... Bricks. And then another new line from there to there. And that will be uh, Belgrade your brick buys. Okay. And that'll also get Belgrade work, work, uh, growing a bit, which is nice. 
we can buy vehicles in let's just buy them in Athens the cargo mm. let's do the tipper truck the Sara tipper truck we'll get 10 of them And they need to be colored their color. So Tirana Stone is I don't know what color that is. I think it's that color. Yeah, probably. Alright. So they are coming out. Are they? Yeah, they're coming out. They are coming out. All right. And then... I actually think... That it'll be smarter to buy the other ones up here in Vienna. Uh, where we will get... So this is construction material. So we want uh, these guys. And we want... Five. And you were definitely this color. And there they come. And these are new trucks that we have available. And they look pretty cool. They look pretty cool. So that's a bit of industry for Belgrade, at least. Now, goods. So we have a refinery here. We can turn it into plastic up there. But we can't oh we can make goods over here and we have a steelworks here we have one iron one coal down here but we actually have two coal three coal but only one iron Huh. We also have a steelworks over here. We have a couple of coal there. But still an iron problem. Well, we have iron right here. Three iron. So we could turn it into iron here. And grab that and that coal that would give us iron but we also need iron for what is skoda auto auto doing there okay fine uh we also need to make machinery or machines so i'm kind of leaning towards actually this Milan steel here. Get this iron ore going up there. Get this. Oh, we have two iron ore and two coal. Okay. So two iron ore, two coal going up to there. And then the steel can be shipped over there. We can turn our crude here. Actually, we can just turn it into refined oil there and then get it. Where can we make plastic? Way over here. Really? Really? OK, 
okay. Nothing that can make plastic over here in the east. Unfortunately. So I guess that is our best bet. Uh, so either we so I think what we do is train this down here maybe or no sail it down here probably and then take it up there to be turned into plastic and then train our truck it over there That could be a possibility. Let's see how well we think about this. The passengers are going up, I think. They definitely are. Okay. Seven and fifty. Sixty one and a hundred and sixteen. Twenty and forty three. So it's not actually that many passengers that are sitting here waiting. I'm gonna hold off putting another train on there. Yeah. Let it climb a little bit. But if we can get these goods made, I just saw something that made me excited and then it went away. I lost it. I completely lost it. Dang it. Okay. So, so we could get goods to Athens and then we could make a cargo line that goes up to Belgrade, Vienna, Prague. And Berlin. And all the way to Amsterdam actually. Hmm. And I'm kind of thinking that we put cargo platforms. We're going to have to move that because it's too close. Close. Kind of put a park cargo platform on each side. And then one of them can go up to Belgrade, uh, maybe stop in Tirana as well, actually. Go up to Belgrade, Vienna, and so on and so forth. And down the other one can go over to Sofia, Bucharest, uh, maybe even up to Warsaw and Gdansk. Hmm. There is a lot to contemplate. contemplate. There is a lot to contemplate. Now over here, we have tons of passengers going in one direction, but not the other. Actually, it's just Barcelona and Madrid that has plenty of passengers, but it's still good, good. UK EU Express has, has a lot of passengers sitting there in Bordeaux and in Paris it's crazy how many it has and the same in London but only one way no one really, really wants to go up to Liverpool, Manchester and, and Glasgow whoa look at that 35 passengers waiting here might need to get another plane or just a bigger plane 
look at that. You're definitely full. And there's still 35 passengers waiting. How about down in Prague? Oh, where is Prague? Prague is down here. No one is waiting to go to London. We have four on board. So why do people want to fly to Prague and not to London? I'm not sure why that is. Because Prague is actually not really getting any goods or anything. It's getting neither goods nor uh, machines. But of course Berlin is. And Hamburg is. Just getting food. So yeah. All right, I think we'll leave this one here. It's a bit of a shorter episode, but I have some contemplating to do. I thought I had my episode planned out, you see, because I recorded the two episodes that OBS screwed up, I recorded earlier today. So I had those completely planned out and now I'm just having to kind of rush this because it's the episode is going up uh, later today when I'm recording it uh, so I'm kind of having to make it up as I go along but I'm happy that we got the bricks going Belgrade is a consumer So that's good. And okay. So what's your rate? 326. That's more than enough to keep Belgrade happy because Belgrade just needed what? 63 bricks. It already got some. So that is starting to work. Let's take a quick look at our lines before we call it a day. So Barcelona tools to Bordeaux is not making a lot of money. Um, fuel to Amsterdam and train is not making a lot of money. I think we have too many trucks on this. Uh, Madrid tools to transport. No. Iberian Express is not actually making money, which is a little bit surprising to me. Uh, Sevilla Solid Supplies, no. Of course, Belgrade Bricks and Tirana is not making money. And then there's a bunch of trams and buses. Uh, then there's the ferry, which makes money on and off. So we do have some places that need to start making money we do have some places that are making a lot of money though so that's good that is very very good all right but i think i'll think this through for the rest of the day and uh, record the uh, ep tomorrow's episode tomorrow morning and we'll see how that works out so yeah uh thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time